eyeshadow look, um, I'm going to be using some more neutrals and brown colors. That's typically what I gravitate towards with all of my eyeshadow looks. I'm a little bit boring, but I'm gonna show you guys just some quick and simple ways to make even the basic neutral colors more fun and exciting. Today, I'm going to be using these three brushes. I'm gonna use the eyeshadow everything brush. It has the dense pointed end here, and then it has the fluffy end here. I'm going to use the blend and tap brush that has a more flat end here, and then a circle end here. And then I'm also gonna use the multitasker brush to do eyeliner. Uh, so the multitasker brush has this really small pointed end, and it also has this flat end. I'm just gonna use the pointed end to do my eyeliner. So to start, I'm going to take just whatever brightening highlight that you use. I'm just gonna touch my finger into it and I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. So I keep all of my eyeshadows in this palette. I have this layer of them and then I have a couple more down here with my illuminator and my powders. All right, so I'm going to start by taking my eyeshadow everything brush and tap the fluffy end into this color called Oak. It's a nice, subtle, light brown color. And then always go like this. Remove the excess off your brush. And I'm gonna start like this, just use it as a transition color. brush and I'm gonna go into this color called trust get the excess off and this color I'm gonna use to cut my crease and then I like to bring it down a little bit onto my lid Look, okay, I know it looks crazy right now, but the thing that's really fun about these eyeshadows is that you can be really messy in your application and you can blend it all together at the end and make it all look great. So I'm going to take the more flat end of my blend and tap brush and I am going to go into the color, the color Bubba. It's this kind of neutral tan color. Again, get off the excess and I'm gonna go on my eyelid. stay golden and I'm gonna use the flat end of my brush again the same one that I just did tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna put it on the inside of my lid all right now I'm gonna flip this brush around and take the pointed circular end and I'm gonna go into this color called cupcake this is a cream color and I use it just to clean up around the edges. So see how messy I was up here? Now I'm just using it to clean up. All right, so there's that. And then if you wanna add a little shimmer, I always recommend going with Blondie. I like to use my finger, just tap in and pop a little bit of it along your lid. And that is all for the eyeshadow itself. Now I'm going to show you guys quickly what I do to do my eyeliner. So for this, you're going to need your multitasker brush, stay spray, which is out of stock right now, but we can talk about some alternatives if you don't have stay spray already, and the eyeshadow color Salem. It's this black color. So what you do is take your multitasker brush, the pointed end, shake up your stay spray and spray your stay spray onto your multitasker brush. So now that my pointed end of my multitasker brush is wet with stay spray, I'm just gonna tap it right into this color Salem. All right, y'all, I have not tried to do my eyeliner into my phone screen before, so bear with me if this is rough, but here we go. I like to pull my lid out straight
super easy to use it this way and I love doing my eyeliner with eyeshadow from mascara because it stays even longer than any of the liquid pens that I've used before. So for my eyeshadow look itself, that is it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my mascara on top of the primer. All right, so that is all for my eye makeup. Thank you.